Listen, guys, my mom is going to show you how to do it. My daughter wanted to be in my video so bad, so I went ahead and just let her be great. Welcome to my channel, Cooking with Freddie. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, today we will be making piglies. Piglies is a Haitian dish. It's often compared to coleslaw, but it ain't nothing like coleslaw because coleslaw is nasty, first of all. And piglies doesn't have mayonnaise in it, and piglies isn't sweet. It's savory, and it's like more like hot sauce, honestly, because you can eat piglies with anything, just like hot sauce. You can put it on anything to spice up a dish, okay? So let me go ahead and show you guys how to make piglies. Let's get started. All right, so I got some bell peppers. I got the orange. I got the green. I got the yellow. I got the red. I got it all. And then I also got an onion. I'm using a half of onion because I was out of onions and didn't realize it until I started making the video, god darn it. So I have to use what I got, but I would suggest using one whole onion. And we're going to slice it and dice it, and we're going to cut it up very small, just like you see me doing in the video. All right? All right, and when we're done cutting up that onion, we're gonna take a cabbage and we're going to cut it in half, a medium-sized cabbage, cut it in half, and we're gonna grind it. And you're gonna have to use that side of the grinder that I'm using, unless you want it to be smaller, then you can use the side that's right next to my hand, but it can't be no bigger than that, okay? And it has to be cabbage, you guys. I literally had a friend one time, I sent her to get the ingredients to get piglies, and she came back with lettuce. And I'm like, baby, I said cabbage not lettuce you cannot use lettuce it has to be cabbage all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and use some carrots i'm using three carrots you guys i had to be ghetto with it i told my kitchen up looking for my potato peeler but i could not find it so i said forget it and i had to do what i had to do oh well i mean it's a hundred ways to skin a cat it's still as long as it do what it do then it do what it do all right so i went ahead and i just peeled my carrot the best way that i can with my knife because i couldn't find the potato peeler I went ahead and washed it off and then I'm going to go ahead and grind them just like I did the cabbage. I'm going to use that same spot that I used to grind the cabbage to grind the carrots. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grind it real good. You guys, it's about to taste so oh, It's about to be off the chain. All right. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and grind that carrot real good. We're going to grind all three of them so they can be smaller, smaller pieces. Like I said, you can cut it on this side or you can grind it on the side right next to my hand if you want your piglies to be very minute. All right, just go ahead and do the best you can to grind it, um, to grind the whole carrot. But if it gets too small and you can't grind it anymore, baby, just throw it away. Okay, don't, 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 don't hurt yourself trying to grind the whole carrot. Okay. Then I went ahead and added my bell peppers and onions, and I'm just gonna go ahead and mix them together so this dish can combine and become one and become united. All right, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just mixing it up. I know y'all hear my badass kids in the background, but you know what? I ain't about to do this voiceover one more again. This is how it's going to have to be. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make the most important part of Pickley's, which is the juice. The juice that basically goes into Pickley's. You need some hot peppers or bonnet peppers, I think y'all call them. All right. And I went ahead and I put five in there i put four at first but i was like nah i don't think it's gonna be spicy enough i want it to be spicy so i went ahead and added another one pickles is supposed to be spicy you guys how spicy you want it depends on you but it's supposed to be spicy and i went ahead and i added one cube of maggie and i went ahead and added one cup of white distilled vinegar and i went ahead and added one and a half cup of water then i went ahead and took one lime and I cut it in half and I used the whole lime. I squeezed the juice out the whole one lime so I can get that limey juice in there. Okay, you guys, this, this is about to be off the chain. You about to like this, it's about to be good. Make sure you do it like this now. Make sure you do this so people want to talk about you and talk about how you try to make some pickles and it was nasty. So just follow the directions and it's gonna, it's gonna work out. All right, make sure you go ahead and put the lime in there, okay? All right, now I ain't gonna, I, I was gonna say something, but I ain't gonna talk about nobody. Go ahead. And I went ahead and added a teaspoon of seasoning salt okay then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna blend it blend it and i'm gonna go ahead and let it let it um the blender chop it up and make it smaller and make it like a smoothie almost okay then before i add it to my to, to my lettuce and stuff 
cabbage and stuff look at me i went ahead and i tasted to make sure i it was spicy enough for me it had enough seasoning for me and i felt like it was lacking seasoning so i went ahead and added another maggie cube and then i went ahead and i let it blend again now when i tasted this time it was perfecto and it was ready to go so i'm gonna go ahead and put that juice i just made all over the cabbage the carrots the bell peppers and the onions you guys whoo I promise you this 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 is it right here this is it don't get no better than this so I'll get get a spoon or something go ahead and mix it all together don't do this with your hand now because first of all that's nasty second of all you 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 it's spicy okay I went ahead and took those two pieces of lettuce out because I felt like they was too big and I ain't like that so I went ahead and just picked them up and removed them and threw them in the trash okay now I'm just mixing up the pickles with the water and the juice that I just made so it all can combine after that you could put it in a mason jar and put it in your refrigerator and it can last you up to like six months you guys the older pickles get the better it gets because the the carrots and the cabbage and the bell peppers and onions they get to absorb that liquid that we made so it gets better over time and there we have it pickles don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you for watching